this month we are going to work on strength training. Um, so these will all be stationary holds. They're all pieces of things that you already know how to do. There will be no learning curve as far as the moves themselves. The only learning curve will be hopefully building up your strength by the end of the month. Go at your own pace. Make sure your abs are tight. Do not force yourself past your level. However, if you are not challenged any longer, try to go to the next level. If you guys have any questions, let me know. The first set of exercises are going to be from the beginner spins. You will not be spinning. They will be stationary holds. You will start off holding for two to three seconds. And then as you get stronger throughout the month, you'll push yourself maybe to five seconds. Or if five seconds is easy, then maybe you'll push yourself to 10 seconds. We are gonna start with the basic lock off. Remember to keep your abs tight. Remember to breathe. Okay, basic lock off. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle. The hands are stacked one on top of the other. For balance, if my left hand is on top, I'm going to lean my chest against the pole and pick up my right foot. Then I'm going to squeeze my elbows in and pull in a downward direction to engage my back muscles. I'm going to squeeze. I've lifted my foot. I'm going to find my balance. And once I do, I've got one, two, three. Notice that my knees were not touching the pole. You don't get to clamp and cheat. Once we've done that, we will go ahead and move to the other side. So now I will go ahead and put my right hand high, lift my left foot, squeeze my elbows in and down, find my balance, pull and one, two, three. We're gonna go ahead and move on to fireman. So if my left hand is high, remember my climbing hook will be my right foot. We're just basically going to do a stationary pole squat and hold that fireman. You're not going to straighten your legs. You're going to stay in the seated position. So here we go. Cross the other leg in front, squeeze the shins and the ankles, and that is my three seconds. Please notice that I've kept both elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. I'm not hanging out of my arms. So I am now using that lock off that we just did. Second side, right hand high, left hook. Second foot will cross in front, engage your abs. Make sure you're squeezing your buns and not dropping low. We're lifting. And it is one, two, three. Firefly is our next move. It's inside hand high, inside knee pinches the pole. Remember my knee is lower than my hip. I'm not grabbing up here. So my knee is at a diagonal. My butt is behind the pole. The pole is mid thigh. Squeezing in with my calf, squeezing up with my heel, but also squeezing in as well. I'm going to position my leg. I'm going to drop my hip out away from the pole. I'm going to keep a slight loose elbow on my high hand. And when I lift, I'm going to be able to go into that lock off for two and three. Remember to breathe, abs tight. Second side, knee comes in and down. Top elbow is slightly bent. Good grip. We're going to lift, roll up onto the thigh. One, two, three. Now, if you can go longer than that, you are more than welcome to move it into the five second range. But remember to pace yourself. 
You don't want to pull anything. You don't want to strain anything. At this point, I'll also like to say that any of the stationary moves we're doing, you can pretty much take any of your warm-up moves and turn them into a strength hold. For those of you that are not familiar with an inverted grip, that means that your bottom hand is fingertips down. You do not want the grip to be where your wrist is bent. When you do an inverted grip, you want to pretend there's a popsicle stick holding your wrist in place. There's a slight bend in your elbow and you're actually leaning over that shoulder and if you have the right rotation, your hip will settle into your elbow or your elbow will settle into your hip like a shelf. The top hand stays at a slight bend. If you get up on your toes, you'll be able to do it a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do just to practice the inverted grip is I'm going to lift my, the same foot that matches the low hand, pull with the top hand, push with the bottom, and then see if I can pick up both toes. You want to feel it in your bicep, tricep, possibly, um, you don't want to feel it in your shoulder, but you want to feel your shoulder engage. You do not want to feel any pressure in your wrist. The only thing you should feel is that your forearm is engaged because your grip is tightening around the pole. From the other side, fingertips down, elbow slightly bent, wrist completely straight, slide up on my toes, top hand at a bent elbow or a partial lock off. I'm going to lean over the bottom hand. I'm going to pick up that foot and I'm going to just see if I can pick up the other foot without hurting my wrist. This grip is going to be used on the next two moves. So we have a mysterious girl and that is normally here. So it would normally be opposite hand high to the foot in front. So now it's still going to be opposite hand high to the foot in front, but you're going to use the inverted grip. So you're going to put the bottom, the, the front foot in place. You're going to lean, grab, get your balance, and then kick up the second foot for three, two, one. Elbows pulling in and down for lock off. Bottom bicep and tricep is pushing to give you lift. Second side. Out, uh, low foot in front. Remember that wrist is straight on the bottom hand. We are actually leaning over the shoulder for three, two, one. I'll even take one second. Don't feel as though you have to do the three if the inverted grip is a brand new grip. If you do it wrong, you will feel it in your wrist. However, you must know the difference between new work and pain. I can't feel what you're feeling, so you know what pain feels like. You're going to have to determine if what you're feeling is just new work because you have weak wrists or if it is actual pain. Please stay away from the pain category. Next, we're going to go ahead and do cowboy with that same inverted grip. Top hand is bent. You're going to go ahead and lift the knee that matches the low hand. This is where you practice pointing your toes. Pull with the top, push with the bottom. Three, two, one. Remember, I'm leaning over the shoulder of the low hand or the leg that comes up first. On to the second side. Knee up. Make sure the wrist is straight. Abs are tight. We pull. It's three, two, one. And as you can see, you will twist a little bit sometimes if that is not your strong side. As you can see, that was not my strong side. So you saw me twist a little bit. That's fine. Your hand will move with you. If it doesn't, put your feet down, try it again. 
Those are some of the basic strength trainings. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level.